So dose banding is not anything new, it's existed since 1996, um, but it's been quite slow to be taken up. It's, it's much more popular in the UK than elsewhere in the, the world. But in the UK, we ended up with a bit of a mix mash of people doing slightly different things, um, banding in different ways, re resulting in different bands. The principles were much the same, but it meant that we didn't have standardization on the doses people bought, because most people dose band so that they can buy in doses ready to administer, which is better for patients. It reduces waiting times and so forth. But because we were all buying different bands, that didn't produce any consistency for the manufacturers, it meant that we were less likely to be able to get things off the shelf, which means everything takes longer and probably everything costs a bit more as well. So NHS England had a plan that they would try and get us all to dose band in the same way and the project was trying to look at a way to do that in a meaningful way. So this afternoon we're presenting um, nine rules that we followed to try and deliver that. Effectively we dose band to 6% rather than 5% so we follow the logarithmic principle of dose banding. Um, we then try to stick to measurable volumes which is very different from logarithmic dose banding so it becomes quite practical for pharmacy to do um, and then there's a number of other rules that just give you some practical starting points if you follow those rules you should always end up with the same bands that we ended up with um, that's the principle that we're working to we've delivered that we so that was done in uh, 2006 and um, by now we are up at 95 percent dose banding on almost all the products that we um, have created tables for we've got um, probably something close to 100 tables for dose banding now almost every product that is given as chemotherapy in England is, is dose banded um, and we've reduced um, bortezomib as an example from um, it was about 60 to 70 percent matched the bands that we chose and um, that's now up at 95 percent and round about half of those bands were within the top five doses previously and that's now up at over 90 percent so if a manufacturer wanted to produce stock lines or produce a licensed product they'd only need to produce five products to be able to produce a stock line so that gives the opportunity to try and make some improvements there.